Welcome back to Hangman's, uh, continuing on the series, the build series here, and we're making really nice progress. I thought I would leave this particular part of the building. You can see that corner there, I've, I was looking at it and wondering how I could utilise it. And at this point I've just used a G2M mod and I've put a roof on there, a nice little triangular roof. Put some um, concrete concrete foundations in there, and for now I use it as a exercise area. And I had several different ideas of what I was going to do with that area. You will see much later in the build this changes, but for now I thought I'd leave it in just to show you how. Things will occur or you'll come up with ideas and, and, and your first idea is maybe not always the best idea or maybe just doesn't fit with the, what you're doing or the build you're doing. But, you know, just go with it. Sometimes, you know, this is what it will be, but don't be scared to experiment. Don't be scared to put things in and try things. Ultimately, I think the solution that I end up with is is much better. It's a, a good alternative, and um, I'm pretty happy with it. But I think it's important that I don't just build, make videos that that are always look as though I've got it right the first time, because I certainly don't get it right the first time. Um, and you can see in here, I've got a whole lot of pieces on the ground which I actually was making something in here and it also didn't turn out at all, didn't work at all. You know, I was going to make a little market square in the middle here and it just didn't work. So uh, that's what you'll find when you do a settlement build. You've got to do numerous things. So I recorded, started recording this late. I've been looking at this little particular area on that first level and I couldn't quite figure out what I was going to do with it. So here I just start building, putting some walls in and, and try and figure out what I'm going to do with it. Originally my ideas for this particular area was I was going to put like a, a little cafe or a little eating area in here. Um, but I, what I decided to put in here I'm, I'm really happy with. and. Um, if you've seen one of my previous build videos, you'll probably figure out where I'm going with this. So it's very, very narrow. And it's limited. There's a whole lot of elements that are surrounding this that you can see in the corner of something sticking through for one of the buildings. And so it, you know, it's a very limited area to build in. And I see that as a bit of a challenge, so. Let's put a go in. I'm really not sure where I'm going with this at this point. I'm just getting the foundation in. So I'm putting doors and all kinds of stuff in. Just see where we go with it. See that wall still not snapping. And I think that I like this, these brick, the brick look now. I'm going to make this glass fronted because it suits what I'm about to build. And I think some of you already know what I'm about to build because you, you've seen the tour of this particular part of the settlement. But um, it was something that I don't really see too often in settlements. And I, I thought, yeah, I had that, this idea and I thought, yeah, I'll. Why don't we try it here and see what happens? And I, it, in the end, it turns out very nice. I'm very happy with how this turns out. And the build itself goes relatively smoothly. Okay. Yep. So you can feel me thinking. And we're about to reveal what we're doing. Oh, there we go. Wouldn't it be nice 
has to have somewhere to clean your clothes in the settlement. It's not something you see too often. So why don't we just put them there? No, not on that side. That side. Excellent. There we go. Come back. Come on. Put it in. That's it. Bet there. Yep. So let's build a little laundry. What are you doing? It's going to be a laundry. The floor needs to look right. So here we go. I've, I've actually learned something in the build order. And I'm putting the flooring down before I put everything in. Usually <laughs> I figure this stuff out about half and an halfway through the build. Mm, so I must be learning. I must be progressing. And again, you can see it. it does complement the look. And again, you know, you can use whatever flooring you think you want to. Now, of course, uh, you're probably now shouting, you need to put flooring on the back, in that back room. Originally, that back room was going to be a, an office for the attendant. But I changed that up a little bit. I have an epiphany. Good. It's gonna be enough. There we go. And I put. Come on. What are you doing? I think it was hanging the drawers in the wall here. I think that's where I was going with that. But um, decide against it because I realise I need to have drawers in here. And you can see I was going to make this an office. But fairly shortly, I'm going to realise that. Maybe I need to do something different with this room. And here it comes now. There we go. Let me put dryers in here. So we have a washing room and we have a drying room. And again, I'm just feeling my way around to how the layout should be. Does that look right? Probably not. Maybe we should line it up. And sometimes when you're doing this, you can restrict yourself in what you can actually put in rooms if, if you can't get the configuration. See, uh, it worked for me then. I was lucky there. I actually fitted in underneath those. Yeah. So, by moving these here, you're actually going to gain a lot more room. Although, uh, you know, it is a very narrow kind of building. You have on your right hand side you know, an area to put things in. Whereas I think if you put them along that wall, as I done first, you'd probably, it was a little bit more limiting than what you could put in that room. One of the big challenges when you're building within Fallout is is trying to get things in into these little rooms because of the perspective. Me yeah, and trying to cram them in, that doesn't quite work. So, okay, what can we put in next? And I'm really thinking about what I would see, typically see in a laundry, and how it would look, and what what's needed to go in there. I have done a full video where I, I show how to do a little bit different of a building, a quite a, a bigger one. These shelves are great because they can tend to glitch into each other a little bit. They're quite, quite good. And that's what I'm doing here, just lining it up. So the only thing that I'll say about these shelves is they tend to just disappear into the wall a little bit unless you put some stuff on them. Okay, there we go. So 
progress is good. What do we want to do next? think about maybe what typically we would find in Longret. So that works well with the couple tables or your clothes or whatever. End up changing this a little bit. The one in there. And again you can see I'd, I actually dropped it in this area and then put it through because it's because it's very limited. And I think, well, typically when you're in the laundry, you'd need you'd probably sit and wait for your, your washing to finish. Just trying some ideas, and obviously it would make sense that the, the benches would be there. else would typically be in here and again if you if, if you really want to do a good job initially I put that in there and I actually end up changing that it just doesn't look right and if you really wanted to do research you could uh, you could go down to your local laundry have a look or you know, search online some falls. This is much more of an old style laundrette. You can see I'm having a few issues getting things in because it's such a tight space. So I'm pretty happy with the uh, progress of Adam's Alley so far. It's uh, certainly um, has been a challenge. Uh, this area is not the easiest to build in, and hopefully, I'm giving you some ideas of how to do, how to actually build in here, and some of the the materials that you need to use to be successful to build in here. Um, it's surprising to me some of the ideas that I had when I first came into the into the build didn't work but the ones that replaced it actually fit very well and um, I think you know suit the actual location I'm very happy with the, the, the end product the end settlement it's it looks fantastic and I really enjoyed building here no, it was frustrating at times. I mean, what, you know, that's why we we love the game so much. It's for those challenges and learning how to to overcome them. So these um, these fluorescent tubes, I think, suit this very much. Uh, you can see just by putting those in and they've made a huge difference to the overall look. And that's just lit up and it looks like it should in my estimation. And you can see that part of the building is, is a real challenge and that's what I struggled with trying to figure out what I was going to actually put here. So we're going to show you a quick tour. Um, how it finishes up. You can see there's a couple of machines there. I've just done some decoration. I've got a water cooler in there. Um, let's see, we have a Braxo cleaner. 
coffee machine. Just added some just small details into the build. It's not over complicated and not over fussy. So catch you next time.